All right, here we go. We are live. Hello, everybody. I am Jean Jones, and welcome to our YouTube channel, our Facebook channel, those of you who are with us live. And I am the founder of Smartpreneurs Like You, which is a program uh, under Pemberton Jones Education Group. So today I'm so very excited that I have one of our entrepreneurs, our dadpreneurs, who is with us today. His name is Andre Butler. And if I can bring it, well, I can bring him in closer to us. There it is. Hey there. Hey, Come on morning. over some, just a good little morning, bit so they can see us. Yes. All right. So um, those of you who may not be familiar with our program, and I'll scoot it back just a little bit so you can see both of us. Those of you who are not familiar with our program, Smartpreneurs Like You is an actual program. And come over just a little bit more sure. um, uh, that we put together where we want to uh, learn from each other. We want to celebrate each other's accomplishments and we want to get inspired uh, by the work of what we do within our community. So for those of you who um, have never visited our website, our website is www.smartpreneurslikeyou.com. And what uh, Pemberton Jones Education Group, the, the goal or the focus of it, um, as we talked about those three core principles, uh, my goal is, is to one, put together imprint and document just stories and journeys of individuals who decided to step out on faith and start their own business, their own ministry, franchise, a company uh, to that um, piece, and just allow them to share their journeys uh, so that other individuals who will decide, like you and I, to start their own business. Uh, one is not easy. It's a process and it requires patience. Those are my two favorite P's is it's a process and it requires patience. So first of all, let's start off with you. Um, and we're going to stick to as many other questions as possible in the book with me. Very off just a little bit, but not too much. But tell us a little bit about who you are, where you're from. And um, if you're not from Dallas, why uh, you are here? And if you are, why are you still in Dallas, Texas? Most definitely. Thanks. I just want to commend you, Dr. Jones, for this project and allowing me to be a part of it. I really appreciate the opportunity to share the entrepreneur story because uh, there are not a lot of outlets in regards to, right. you know, uh, telling the journey. You know, yes. everyone sees the success at the end, but no one knows the path and the journey. So I commend you and I commend all your work and all that you do for the community. Thank so I'm thank so grateful for you selecting me to be a part of this. Yes. Uh, as uh, Dr. Jones mentioned, my name is Andre Butler. I am the president and CEO of Major Profits Entertainment. It's an entertainment management company that provides guidance and career guidance for individuals looking to be in the entertainment field. So that is uh, one of the business that I primarily focus on uh, at the current time, but uh, I also use those management skills in order to help other entrepreneurs also. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that you're from Dallas? Uh, I am born and raised in Dallas. Okay. Uh, Do you have uh, family in Washington? Well, oh, oh, born, <laughs> uh, I'm born and bred in uh, in Dallas, Texas. Right. My family has roots in, in, in East Texas, so we've been uh, around the DFW Metroplex for more than 40 years. Yes. And uh, so I am here. I, I graduated from college, came back home, and yes. uh, Dallas is just a great place and a land of opportunity okay. for for young entrepreneurs, so that was part of my reason for coming here. And of course, having a core support system right. uh, is always important in regards to entrepreneurship. So, the high school you graduated from? I'm sure, I graduated from uh, the mighty David W. Carter Hello High School. Hello, somebody. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, right in Oak Creek, Texas. Yes, that. that's yes. most definitely. So, uh, I graduated from Carter High School in 1995, and okay. I fo I followed up. Uh, at Texas A&M in College Station and graduated from Texas A&M with a business degree in Management Information Systems in spring of 2000. Well, and congratulations mm -hmm. on that. Oh, thanks. Some people need to know, mm -hmm. um, especially for those of us who are entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. um, education is important. Okay. What was your experience like at college? Well, I have to say this. Uh, it was definitely a, a growing experience. Okay. Uh, I grew up primarily in the Oak Cliff area, so actually going to College Station let me expand my horizons and okay. meet individuals from other areas who have who had different lifestyles that uh, yes. I thought was just ordinary <laughs> to me, but uh, ultimately I come to find out that uh, there are a lot of different individuals right. uh, uh, outside of our little, mm -hmm. our mighty Oak Cliff Square. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Now, what what made you decide to go to Texas A&M? Um, truth be told, they actually came with a with a small academic stipend. They actually came and recruited from our school. Okay. And uh, I had went on a couple of visits. Uh, I like the atmosphere. I like the actual school, and uh, it just seemed like a great place to get an education. Okay. Mm -hmm. And why did you choose your particular um, <clears throat> area that you focused on to get your degree? Well, I, I focused on business administration right. because I always felt like that was a key component yes. in in you know not only a career but just driving your lifestyle. And uh, so, uh, truthfully, uh, when I first went to A and M, I thought about engineering. I thought mm -hmm. about the sciences. But uh, I had more of an affinity for the business. And okay. uh, once I uh, got acclimated to that, I just went ahead and charted that course. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you started your business. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the type of business that you have. Yes. Is, is Yes, I actually do entertainment management. So okay. uh, uh, what I actually primarily do is uh, I have a extensive network of individuals in the entertainment field okay. from musicians to business owners to record labels to producers. And ultimately... Uh, when I first got out of college, <laughs> I was an aspiring, you know, entertainer or a, a, a slash uh, uh, artist or rapper. Uh, I, I wrote my own lyrics, and my father actually is a rhythm and blues guitarist, so okay. he's played, you know. So your background. Oh, our background in, in music. I kind of I kind of grew up in the uh, in the music business, affiliated through my father. Yes. And so uh, what happened was, uh, as I got more into the industry, I realized that management was a component that you needed in order to be successful mm -hmm. in the music industry. And I saw that there was a lack here in the DFW area when okay. it comes to management and someone who can kind of help guide your course mm -hmm. in regards to making it in the entertainment industry. So yes. after searching and going around and meeting different individuals, uh, I realized that, uh, hey, you know, it's an opportunity here. So I decided to go in and uh, start managing, and I started out with my, my father, uh, yes. uh, uh, helping him manage, so we did uh, everything from working at radio stations to private functions to, you know, festivals, so uh, in, in in line, and uh, we've always had our own production studio, so we produced yeah. music, okay. and we had always did that, so I just kind of took his hobby and uh, and actually turned it into a career. Okay, mm -hmm. so as uh, as far as entrepreneurship and that's sure. great, your background, mm -hmm. you were in the music industry mm -hmm. as it relates to the connection from your father. Sure. Um, why, let me say this, when you started your business, what would you say was one of your greatest challenges? Uh, one of my greatest challenges was uh, just becoming an entrepreneurship. There, okay. there, there wasn't a, a course or there wasn't a, a program to mm -hmm. kind of support entrepreneurs. So basically, I took all the information I learned with my business degree okay. and said, hey, you know what? I can start my own business. However, the operation of that business <laughs> and, <laughs> and some of the hurdles that you go through as an entrepreneur uh were very challenging and in mm -hmm. regards to uh, getting that support you know kind of charting your own right. uh trail i yes. guess uh of being a trailblazer yes. there was a lot of nights <laughs> and a lot of conversation on the outside that right. uh, that uh, made me have to make sure that i had my confidence and mm -hmm. and uh that i just could depend on my faith and let god guide my steps and uh okay. from that standpoint i was able to go ahead and pursue my career and uh continue it so you've been have you've had your business as an entrepreneur for how long? Uh, so I officially started my business uh, in 2005. So okay. it's it's 20 you know 2019 right, right. now. So you're you <laughs> we're, we're coming up on like 14 years since okay. I've been actively uh, moving around. Congratulations! Oh, oh, well, thank you, thank yes. you so much. I appreciate that. Right. Uh, so uh, that's how long I've been. Uh, yes. uh, uh, I guess an entrepreneur. Prior to that, though, even. Uh, as of my own business, I always was helping my dad as far as okay. being a roadie or, right. or helping him out with equipment or, you know, doing the the everyday businesses of a record label right. <laughs> that I didn't know yes. until I actually learned about business, okay. the record business. Fantastic. Yeah. Right. So now you are married. Yes. You well, have children. Happily married with children. Yes. I've been, I, I got married from my to my beautiful wife in, yes. uh, in uh, November of 20, uh, I'm saying 20, what, 2002, and uh, I have a daughter who's thir who's 15, and my son, Andrew, yes. uh, he's 13, Allison is my oldest daughter, yes. So how do you balance personal life and mm -hmm. professional life? Well, that was a key, tricky key in the first <laughs> years of my entrepreneurship, because, okay. of course, everyone has different uh, ideas, but... Mm -hmm. uh, 
part of the reason I left corporate America was so that I can devote more time and have more freedom to be able to interact with my children and to okay. spend time with family. And so uh, initially, I, and I just have to say it, <laughs> and I don't want to use it as an excuse, but uh, I devoted so much to my family that from a business standpoint, I was kind of stagnated for a while until I could right. actually find that balance yeah. in order to be able to make sure that you know, uh, uh, the kids and the, my wife are, uh, are fine and also being able to, you know, provide for the family. And, and you know what? I'll say this. Oftentimes, a, a person who has an entrepreneurial spirit, typically the family suffers and the business mm-hmm. doesn't. Mm-hmm. So it's not a bad thing that you say, hey, my business was kind of floating mm-hmm. because you wanted to focus on the development of your family. So that's to be commended. Because okay. oftentimes it's the flip. Mm-hmm. Oh, most definitely. Yes. Well, that's what I learned in corporate America. In corporate mm-hmm. America, no one cared about your family. Right. So they didn't care <laughs> that my wife was pregnant with my daughter, yes. or they didn't care about if I needed to call in sick in regards to my family. Right. So uh, that may, definitely made me uh, reevaluate what my priorities were yes. and what kind of principles that I wanted to live by right. as a husband, daddy, and a entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> smartpreneur. A smartpreneur. Yes. So now. Um, you have your business, sure. and um, let's talk about maybe one of the moments that you said, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, you had a project that just smashed. It was just awesome. What, what was that? Well, you know, uh, as you asked earlier, mm-hmm. you know, uh, early in my entrepreneurship, you know, I had to really focus on God and ask God what my purpose was, what my calling was, and then just you know, realize what my gifts were. Yes. And uh, and so from that standpoint, the universe just kind of lined up okay. with everything that uh, God was putting in my life. Right. Uh, uh, of course, it, there was nothing easy about it. However, I was able to uh, just wanting to, you know, grow something in my family and uh, yes. actually uh, leave a legacy that I can actually live to leave to my family and also help build something from a business standpoint, you okay. know, for my immediate family. So what projects have mm-hmm. you worked on as, uh, with your uh, entertainment company? I've, uh, I've worked on so many uh, different projects and in the course uh, in the music industry, so much has changed. So, yes. you know, uh, actually uh, what I first did was help my dad set up a production company. Okay. So we were actually, uh, you know, doing manufacturing and packaging of CDs right. and... Uh, back and, in the uh, day. Oh, back, back, <laughs> back in the day. You know, we were we had real to real growing up. Yes. So actually, uh, when I came home with, uh, you know, with, and, and the birth of the internet allowed me to bring certain skills to our production mm-hmm. studio. Right. So uh, being my, my, my father was the rhythm and blues guitarist for Johnny Taylor. So okay. he was always at the house helping out uh, yes. and, and of course, some of his offsprings. I've worked with you know countless uh, artists around the metroplex. I focused on independence because they they needed the most success yes. uh, uh, or the most assistance in regards to charting out a plan. Okay. So uh, I've recorded different projects. I've manufactured. I've packaged. Right. We've done everything from Kwanzaa Fest on up yes. to uh, City of Dallas functions yeah. uh, for private corporations. And so speaking of Kwanzaa Fest mm-hmm. and other community events, mm-hmm. as a person who has your own business. Um, giving back to the community. What do you do in that effort? Oh, well, as far as the community is concerned, being that I'm born and raised here, Mm -hmm. you know, I realized that from a mentality standpoint that uh, there was a lot of growth and maturation that I needed to come into. So uh, I had an affinity for educating, you know, those who wanted to be successful and just kind of be the hub in order to get people over the hump in which they were trying to do as far as starting entrepreneurship. So I did a lot of, you know, consulting and helping individuals as far as that. And ultimately, you know, of course, 14 years, you know, you kind of continue to grow and develop. And from that standpoint, I became more civically engaged. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, uh, I kind of, I don't say left the music industry, but I just kind of broadened my scope in regards to what we were doing. So rather than just focus on, you know, CDs and EPs, I started Mm -hmm. looking at films and movies. And and, uh, from that standpoint, I wanted to be a documentarian uh, to document the history, the rich history of Dallas. That's what I'm doing in this book. (laughs) Great, great. That's important. Mm -hmm. All right, so now what tips would you give to dads who are entrepreneurs, those who are in the game, those who are... Uh, just starting to get into the game and those who are considering getting into the game? Well, uh, mostly uh, I would say uh, have a plan, you know, kind of have a, right. c- kind of think about it. Don't just jump straight into it because mm-hmm. it's definitely uh, not an easy course. And uh, 
the your ability to have things planned out and to know what you're going to be facing mm -hmm. is going to be key to your success. So definitely uh, all dads have a plan, have a family plan, mm -hmm. <laughs> have a business plan, right. and, and actually uh, uh, talk with your, if you're a dad or if you're married, you definitely want to uh, talk with your spouse because yes. that can definitely, uh, you know, pose some tiny obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> or a lot of obstacles. Oh, most yes. definitely. Yes. Oh, we've definitely if seen it. Yeah, if it's not a good partnership. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, as what I said. Well, uh, much love to your wife and to mm -hmm. your family. Thank, thank and you. thank you, Andre, for allowing me the privilege of putting your journey into our book, Smartpreneurs Like You. Oh, right, it's right. the Dadpreneur Edition 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, so he is one of the a few gentlemen that allowed me to be able to share your story. And so, of course, um, if you want to get a copy of it, it's available on Amazon.com. You can go to our website to get the actual link, uh, which is www.smartpreneurslikeyou.com. And you can also visit our website for additional information. And maybe you would like to share your journey um, in our publication. We would love to hear from you. So if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Um, yeah, that's right. If you're on Facebook or wherever, if you are on YouTube, just hit the like button. And of course, you can also follow us um, on our YouTube channel, which is Pemberton Jones Education Group. And one of our programs is Smartpreneurs Like You. We also have um, here is uh, Enda Boutique. So that's where we're located in that part of our facility. Thank you all for joining us and for being so kind. And um, again, if you have questions, um, or if you would like to know more about Mr. Butler, you can get it in our book. You can go to our website, yeah. and information about him is on our website. Great. All right. We appreciate you guys. Have a fantastic uh, week, mm -hmm. and this is Fourth of July week, oh, okay, so, it is. so uh -huh. we're going to timestamp this uh, video <laughs> to let people know. All right, you guys be safe. God bless. Thank you so much.